In this video, I'm going to walk you through an important app within Microsoft Power Platform named as Dataverse Accelerator. Now, what is Dataverse Accelerator? Dataverse Accelerator is a model-driven app uh, which has been recently developed by Microsoft and it has been made generally available in most of the tenants. Uh, so what does this app do is uh, this app will allow you to author a plugin using PowerFX. So you can technically create a plugin, uh, not from the Visual Studio way, but uh, using Power Platform. So this is uh, basically uh, allowing the citizen developers to build plugin using, say, PowerFX formulas. Okay, uh, what you can do, you can create an instant plugins, you can create automated plugins, uh, the plugins can have input and output parameters. Uh, there is something called as a launch plugin visit, which we are going to walk through uh, in, uh, in in the next like two minutes or so. Uh, and then uh, you can save the plugin to solutions. So it, it's all ALM compatible. It's all ready for uh, development. Uh, and uh, for all those dev, test, stage, production kind of a scenario, uh, you can use this uh, solutions. Okay. So let me just uh, go back to the screen. Uh, so here, uh, if you see uh, uh, in your solutions panel, uh, I have already installed this Dataverse uh, accelerator, but uh, if it is not available within your uh, solution, then what you can do is like, you can click on go into the solutions in make.powerapps page, uh, click on open app source. Okay, so this will open the uh, the app source uh, from Microsoft. Here, you just need to type in Dataverse, okay, or Dataverse Accelerator. The moment you type that, uh, you will be presented with the screen. Click on Get It Now. Uh, then it will ask you for to uh, install it within your environment. You need to select your environment. And once the installation and configuration is done, uh, you will be uh, shown uh, uh, the solution in this environment. So as you see over here dataverse accelerator uh, this solution is installed okay then there is an another solution which gets installed called as low code plugins for connectors and then there is an another solution called as dataverse accelerator solution anchor so technically you get this three uh, solutions now how do we uh, activate these solutions is you need to go into one of the uh, solution in it named as dataverse accelerator and within that solution, you will be uh, seeing something called as a model-driven app. Okay, so let me first find that out. Yeah, I can see it over here, bottom. So if you see here, there's a Dataverse Accelerator app here. Uh, so you just click on it. The moment you click on it, you will be presented with a Dataverse Accelerator app. Uh, let me show you in another way like if you click on apps on make.powerapps page you will be presented with dataverse accelerator app as well so there are multiple ways to navigate to that uh, let me open this app i'm just playing this app so this is technically a model driven app now this app has uh, cool functionalities to build plugins so if you see here a new plugin uh, you can create an instant plugin you can create an automated plugins okay uh, apart from that, there are some plugin samples which has been provided by Microsoft. Okay, so let's first see the sample and then we can go ahead and build one uh, plugin uh, together. Okay. So first, let's look into this part. Send in app notification. Okay, now what it is, what it does is it will allow you to send a notification uh, from your model-driven app and display them as a toast. So I click on Edit Plugin and uh, it will ask for some basic details. So display name, description of that plugin. I click on next. Uh, I see that these are the data types, you know, these are kind of an input parameters for this uh, plugin. It will ask for a title, action title, body, email, action URL. I can add more input parameters. I can add output parameters, but I'm not going to touch the sample. Uh, I'll just move ahead next. And then I'll see uh, summarized information, okay? Now, what you see over here in expression is technically a PowerFX formula, which is generated. Uh, we, you have to author it, uh, but then it will make use of the variables which you have defined in the previous screen. 
okay uh now i'm not going to do much uh i'll uh, just click on test okay the moment i click on test it will tell me oh fill up this parameters okay now uh, i'll just put some basic text okay so message title action title is say lorem title body is some body text email uh, i'll just put my email and action url maybe this is my website name website url okay so i just put this i click on run the moment i do that a toast notification should be displayed to me okay uh, it is showing me a success uh, that the plugin has run successfully and if you see over here in notification some uh, notification should appear okay now if you see here this notification has been created. So if you compare one by one, see this message title. This message title corresponds to the title. Some body text is the body of this notification. Email uh, is not making sense over here, but if you see action URL, the moment you click on here, it will navigate you to that URL. Okay, so uh, action title and action URL uh, is a combination of those uh, anchor reference. Okay, so similarly, you will get a lot of notification if you change the subject. So let me change the subject as message title AAA and then run it, uh, go to notification. Then uh, after some time, I will see one more notification over here called as message title AAA. Okay, uh, we'll not wait for that. We'll just move on to the uh, next uh, plugin, which is already available within the system. So let me go into one of the other plugin okay so i'm in the home screen of dataverse accelerator app so there is another plugin called as create contact with associated account if i click on edit plugin what this plugin does is it will create an account entity it will create a contact entity and then associate that account and contact entity okay oh uh, yeah let me let me close all these windows because there's so many windows opened. I'll just close this up. Yep, put this one. Yep. And I'll again navigate to my Dataverse Accelerator app. And I'll go in this plugin. I click on Edit Plugin. It says Create Contact for an account, associated account. Uh, if you want to see the definition, just click on Next. You will see it asks for some information. And this is the PowerFX, which has already been provisioned by Microsoft as a sample. Okay. So uh, before we even do this exercise, let me show you my account table. So I just refresh this account table. Now this account table, uh, and there's an, another table called as contact. Okay, so I just refresh this also. So I have account table, which has a couple of records. I have a contact table, which has couple of or maybe more than 10 records in it okay uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, when I run this plugin click here click next and click test when I run this plugin I will make some change over here okay so I'll add a record so first name is say may let me first name is Ron and second name is say George so account name maybe I'll just say uh, ABC INC okay and current user, this is my email address, okay? So this is the current user email address which we need to provide. So this technically becomes an owner of that record, okay? If I click on run, uh, let's see whether it, if it's success. If it is success, yes, it is success. Then a contact name called as Ron George should be added into the table and ABC INC should be added in the account name. So there's no ABC INC over here, I just refresh this page and I'll refresh the contact page as well. So if you see in account, I have added the CBC INC and the primary contact is Ron George. And in contact, I don't see Ron George. Let me refresh this. And uh, I should be able to see Ron George record uh, in my contact entity. So as you see over here, it's, it's already added now. Okay, so what, what essentially this uh, application does is it allows you to 
or write a plugin okay with power effects now how do we do that you click on new plugin if you want to write a custom plugin you click on instant plugin and then it will allow you to put some information okay so i'll just say this is a plugin hello world i'm not going to write a plugin but i'm just showing you how to uh, author this content okay now there is an option you can go into advanced option or maybe just click next the moment you click next it will ask you for input and output parameter but what if i just go back and click on advanced option now if i click on advanced option it will launch the plugin visit. Now the plugin visit will allow us to connect to an external data source, which is technically uh, a SQL server, okay, over here. Now I have already provided the connection, so that's why it is available over here. But if you are new to it, then you need to click on new connection, connect to a SQL server, and then essentially you can run a stored procedure, stored in SQL server. I'm not going to demonstrate that in this video, but I will cover that in my another video. But uh, I'm just showing you the capability uh, of uh, Dataverse Accelerator app uh, in building a plugin. So I hope uh, this video brings a lot of value to your Dataverse learning journey. Uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.